Okay, this is a good one for all you non-sick, sick patients. You know who you are. So have you ever had obvious symptoms, but your lab tests come back normal? Many such patients, the majority of them women, but not exclusively, are told that simply stress, aging, depression, or worse, it's all in your head. Go see a psychologist, psychiatrist, whoever. The problem is most doctors use lab ranges on blood tests when functional ranges provide more clues that explain the symptoms. We'll kind of talk about the bell curve behind me in a second. Lab ranges on a blood test look for diseases while functional med medicine ranges look for patterns and markers that spot trends towards disease that can still be reversed or halted. For instance, the lab ranges for diabetes are quite high, but a functional range can let you know if your blood sugar is in the danger zone well before you need a pharmaceutical treatment and have caused considerable inflammatory damage to your body. In another example, many people with clear and obvious symptoms of low thyroid function are told that they're fine. This may happen for years while autoimmune destruction of the thyroid gland continues unchecked and untreated, worsening symptoms all the while. Traditional doctors may only test the TSH and tell you it's fine, all the while not even knowing that your TPO or TGBs, different markers, are leading you down the path of Hashimoto's. Functional blood ranges can help you stop the progression towards disease. So think of it like this, the bell curve behind me. At the very edges or past the edges where it flattens out, that is disease. That's where you go to your doctor, you get medication, you get surgery, whatever the case may be. So by default, they say, okay, if you're on that bell curve, you must be normal. And that's why they're often saying, oh, your labs are normal, you're not sick, you're fine. But oftentimes what happens is if you're at the edges of those bell curves and you're not at the top, if you've got one or two markers there, it's probably not all that big of a deal. But once you start getting five, six, seven or more markers in the end ranges of the functional zone or even the standard reference range, that's when you start to get symptoms and you have the symptoms of being sick without actually the labs being uh, marking you as sick. So there you go. So functional medicine addresses the underlying physiological mechanisms causing symptoms. In conventional medicine, a condition must have progressed far enough to diagnose and treat with drugs or surgery. In other words, functional ranges define the parameters of good health while lab ranges define the parameters of disease. Perfectly said. Additionally, lab ranges are determined by a bell curve analysis of patients who have had their blood drawn at that center many of whom are likely quite sick. As the health of Americans continues to, to decline, so do the ranges for what qualifies as healthy. For some markers, we don't know what qualifies as healthy, just average. So functional ranges look at patterns in the markers as well. Functional medicine doesn't just look at individual markers, but also patterns among various different blood markers. All systems in the body are interrelated and a problem in one area of the body can show up in an out of range marker in another area. It can become a little complicated, but at the same time explain a lot of symptoms for some patients. This can help identify different types of anemia, whether your high blood sugar is raising your risk of heart disease or whether a hormone imbalance might be affecting your thyroid. Another example involves looking at markers to determine whether activated or depressed immunity is related to a virus, bacterial infection, allergies, or even parasites. Another difference between functional and conventional blood tests isn't just the ranges used, but also the markers ordered. A conventional blood test will typically include far fewer markers than a functional one. We can especially see this in testing for hypothyroidism. Standard tests only look at thyroid stimulating hormone, TSH, even about 90% of cases of hypothyroidism are caused by an autoimmune disease called Hashimoto's. This is because knowing whether a person has Hashimoto's doesn't change the standard of care in conventional medicine, but it does for us. So a functional test will include markers to identify Hashimoto's and other causes of low thyroid function, such as toxins. Knowing what is causing the thyroid to underfunction determines the best way to manage and improve thyroid health. A blood panel is an important tool in the functional medicine evaluation, and often the first step. Ask my office for more information. So go get functional. I'm Dr. Craig Mortensen. Be healthy. Be happy.